Um, today I'm just going to be running through the Governor Assembly, which I disassembled from the engine. I'll show you where I took it off and I might start taking it apart. Alright, so for all the people that aren't familiar with this list of the engine, this is where the Governor Assembly is on. And in the Governor Assembly, it houses the drivetrain for the Magneto, which gives a spark, and for the Governor Rod, which changes the throttle. So here you can see, and this is the piston here. Um, and this is, I used to only be able to look in through here, but now I've taken off here. I stripped this bolt here, but it was, it came off really easily stripping, so I think it might have been cracked through. But all the other bolts are fine. They're all good. Um, I probably will just need to focus. I'll probably need to just get someone round. I don't think it'll be that hard to take out, hopefully. So next in here, it will be taking off the flywheel then taking the piston out. And then this will really just be empty. So here's the actual governor assembly. And um, on this side, this is the part that was in the engine and the piston sat in here. And it would turn this. These are the two rocker shaft things. And as you, the piston moves, the exhaust and the inlet would turn. Uh, turn it around. This is the sprocket for the magneto. The magneto sits up here and this is the sprocket for that. And this is the starter. Um, the starter thing me in there. Yeah. Um, and then all the way around. This is the main. In here you have the governor, uh, 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 weights and spring in just in here so I don't quite know how to take this apart Um, I was wondering whether I should pressure wash it first which I think I might do just for the experience to know whether I should or should not there's quite a lot of grime in here which I think it would be able to take out Okay, so I've got the governor piece set up in the uh, this bucket here. I've got the pressure washer. I'm just going to probably just give it a pressure wash all the way around. Because there's quite a few bits where I really need to get the muck off. Hope this will work. And then I might come back out tomorrow the day after, depending on the weather. And take it apart. And then pressure wash the insides. Okay, so that's the governor all cleaned up. Um, I'm just gonna start by taking this front piece off just to make sure um, it's all okay inside and to make sure, uh, what do you call it? Clean it, uh, dry it, I mean. There's some water we've got in there. It's inside. So that's the two weights there with the spring, uh, which means it can come in and out uh, for the thing. Pretty sure that like rubs against there. It's been a couple of days of it just sitting in the WV40. I've been putting more on it. Um, and I'm now going to go in with my ratchet set and try to get these two bolts on top off. So I flipped it over onto its side, so it's hopefully going to be a little bit easier to get these bits off. It's a little bit uneven. So it's been many weeks since I've shown you the governor, uh, because I've had trouble getting the top nut off, as you know. Uh, I finally got it off now, though. I can't remember where the last video ended, but I'll just show you what I've done to get the nut loosened. So here you can see I've got this piece of wood at the back stopping the cog from moving. And I've just got this cardboard here uh, to add that like extra 
uh, thickness so the wood works. And then I got this in. I had my sister hold it here. Um, and I hit the spanner uh, just here. And now it's finally come loose after many, many weeks of trying to get it undone. So now the cog will be able to come off. Uh, I think when taking cogs off, you need to use the gear pullers to get them off. So I'll attach my smallest one just now. Oh, just lost the spanner. So yeah, I'll just attach my gear puller and then we can take it off. So I don't really know much about using these gear pullers. So I've just got attached. They're all on the inside bit. So the, they're on the in of the cog, uh, the gear inside the outside. Uh, I guess I'm just meant to tighten this bit here, I said. Uh, and just... Oh, it's very hard. Is my arm... Yeah, it is in the way, sorry. Hmm. Well, that... came off quite powerfully. Lucky I didn't break my lamp here. Uh, I feel like that happened a lot faster than it was meant to. But it came off. So that's winning, right? Um, I don't, now that the top cog's off, I can get to work on the inside here. I don't know. Let me just tidy this up a little bit. I don't know how you're meant to get this out because there's a little. So if you can get in there, you can see there's this little uh, pin there, which I suspect we'll have to pin out. And then hopefully this will all just come. This uh, whole thing me. Oh, there's another pin there. Uh, this will all just come out the bottom and it might leave this I don't know the name for it that still in uh, but we'll need to see because yeah that isn't moving so I suspect we'll have to take out that pin there and is that a pin? yeah there is a pin just there and that is that a pin there? yeah I'll check on the other side. Uh, just spin it around. Yeah, that is a pin. So we'll punch that. I need to get a punch set. Get that pin out and I'll get that pin out. Then this will all come out. Then I can take this out, I think. Uh, I'll do research into how to take this out. So as I said in my update video, I don't think I'm going to take all these gears off. Uh, just because they'll be too tricky to take off and to put back on. Uh, so instead, I think I'll just put this whole block, uh, one back in the pressure washer and two in a paraffin bath to get all this gunk off uh, and to get all the grease out, old grease uh, and oil out from in between all of these bearings. Um, if you go against that and you say that I should take this off, just put it down and I will listen to it. Uh, I think I might make this into a two-parter, the governor set because i got the top off now and i cleaned it so i think this will be one video and then i'll put out another video punching out all the bits and taking it all apart and cleaning it but i think that's the end of this video so i hope you found this video useful uh, if you did please drop a like and a follow um i now i'm one step closer to getting this engine running which is great uh, stick around for episode, part two of getting the governor assembly taken apart. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching.